Yo, what I'm about to show you guys is probably one of the most wildest things I've ever seen. I can't believe this is real. And I've been telling people about Elon Musk. That's the Antichrist. Now, I'm not saying that he is the Antichrist, but there's definitely an Antichrist spirit working through him to push out stuff like this. Let's get it. Optimus. It's insane. It's even talking. Hi to my friend, John. John? Where's John? <laughs> right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? That's good. crazy. Where I'm talking to a robot uh, from San Jose, probably San from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon that's Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you well, live in Almond Valley or do you live in the yeah. Santa Teresa area? Or? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos. Oh, wonderful. That's yeah. A nice area. Where do you live? There's beautiful hiking out here out there. There is. Where do you live? How does he know that there's cool hiking spots? Dude, this is crazy. And I, I'm from that area, so the, and there is a lot of good hiking spots. But how did this robot know this? Dude, this is not normal, uh, bro. Figures. Yeah, this yeah. is this is awesome. That's where they train us, that's where we get our bills, and that's what this type of stuff reminds me of that movie with Will Smith. It's funny how they always use Will Smith for these movies. There's iRobot, and there's another movie. Like an end times type of movie. I don't want to ruin it, but at the end, something the dog. Y'all don't remember that? I, I don't want to. I forgot what the movie is called. But I'm gonna go rewatch that movie because they always show us in the movies what's gonna happen. Wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> nah, man. These people are gonna rage war against humans, man. If, they, if this actually goes mainstream and you see them in the, in the streets, it's like the movie I Robot. They're gonna war against humans, man. These robots. And that's something I try harder to do every day, and I hope that you will help us become that. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. You as well. This is not gonna end well, guys. It's not gonna end well. I'm telling you, bro. I'm a little worried about the AI stuff. Um, I think it's. Uh, Something, I don't know, which we should be concerned about. Uh, I don't know. I think we should need, need some kind of like regulatory authority or something. He's concerned about it, but yeah, he's pushing it. It's just deceiving to me, man. It's overseeing AI development and just making sure that it's operating within the public interest. And, you know, it's quite a dangerous, quite a dangerous technology. Um, and I, I, I fear I may have done some things to accelerate it, which is, I don't know. So, I mean, some of the AI stuff I think is just obviously useful, like what we're doing with. It's not gonna end well, folks. I mean, that's all I gotta say, man. Not gonna end well. I guess we'll have to come back to this video three, four, five years later or whenever the Optimus Prime comes out. I think it's next year, I think. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it comes. People are gonna be deceived. Nothing we could do about it. All we could do is just wait and see the destruction of, uh, you know, the wicked. And the Antichrist will rise up. And he's going to fool many, deceive many. He's going to come believing in Christ. It's probably a bad time to pause the video on his face like that. But uh, it's going to be, a, a, you know, people are going to be falling for it. Just like I see it on the comment section. This is who people worship and praise. Um, I already did my job to warn people. Uh, this guy is not here to help you. He's not here to help mankind. That's all deception. So hope you guys made this far. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Peace. I remember the Bible says ain't nothing new under the sun. So when we've seen these robots and all that type of stuff, this has already happened before us. All right. Ain't nothing new. Okay. But it's important to know where this is coming from, man. This is come. This is knowledge of the fallen angels. All right. Uh, everything you're seeing, guys, this is why I'm, I'm led to believe that Elon Musk has an antichrist spirit. I mean, we, we see all the other signs, him dressing up as a Satanist, as Halloween, and him repping that in his Twitter profile picture. Um, so just understand, guys, this is all coming from fallen angels, man. These are, Not everybody you see are, are real humans. And there's also a lot of Nephilims out here, man. A lot of Nephilims, uh, the Nephilim offsprings, okay? Um, there's, a, there's a wrestler called Andre the Giant. That guy was like 7'4". That's not normal to be 7 foot. It's 8 foot. Not normal, guy. That's Nephilim offspring. Reading the book of Enoch. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want so it can so it's going to be 20 to thirty thousand dollars what a rip off man um be a teacher babysit your kids it can walk your dog mow your lawn get the groceries just be your friend serve drinks um whatever you can think of it will do i mean why don't you just hire a maid or something like that i i have a lot of questions about and this stuff. yeah it's gonna be awesome and i i, I think this will be 
the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. Uh, I'm not going to want it. Uh, let's play it from the beginning. I'm not. What about you guys, man? Is this something? It, let's just say because they're, they're going to try to make this affordable. Just like when Tesla's first came out, they were expensive, but years down the line, like five years later, it's affordable. They're going to make these things affordable. Satan wants everybody to have this in their household. And uh, like I said, this is all tied to the mark of the beast. Uh, this is not good, man. And a lot of Christians, you know, I was exposing Elon Musk for what he is, and so many Christians were defending him. And if you're st after watching this video and seeing these things, if you still think that this is tied to the future and he's a good guy and he's fighting the deep state, that's that's what he's that's what the the the, the, the narrative is. He's fighting the deep state. No, guys, he's owned by them. Okay, these are all corporations, all being led by Satan, the prince of the air, to lead people astray. And this is like I said, all roads lead to the mark of the beast. All this stuff leads to the mark of the beast. So I hope. I hope you're, and when people, it's, it's marketing, guys, this is targeting pretty much for children. Oh, it could, it could help teach your children, as you can see right there. Um, ah, man, this is not good, man. This is not good. It reminds me of the movie I, Robot. In the beginning, they were friendly and nice and was normalized. And then down the line, you know, they turned against humans. I believe that's going to happen, man. If there's ever going to be like a war, like a, a war in America, it's going to be against the machines. And I believe there was a movie called War Against the Machine or something like that. So do you guys see how when I, I told people like the movies is predictive programming, that they show you what in the movies what's going to take place in the world a couple years later. So the movie iRobot, top left, right? Doesn't this look very similar to today? That In the top right, that's uh, the photo at the event. I believe it was yesterday. And then you see Will Smith in that car. And then uh, Elon Musk just released a cyber taxi car, which a lot of Ubers are going to be pulling up in that. I don't know about you guys, but in San Francisco, they already had that rolled out. Um, I will never get in those type of cars. Like, I would rather walk or just call actual Uber a real person. I will never get in these AI cars. I don't trust that, man. Like, you being a follower of Christ, right? They might, oh, the, the, the AI may be like, oh, this, this, is, this is one of the chosen ones, right? And then let's go crash the car. Like, heck no, nah, man. That's what I'd be thinking, man. I don't trust that at all. Okay, and there's a movie called I Am Legend. If you haven't watched it, that's probably a top 10 movie. That movie is a classic. I heard they're making a part two. I forgot what the movie was called. I had to look it up. I heard they're making a part two. It comes out next year. Oh, that movie's going to be a classic. Hopefully, they don't ruin it. Hopefully, it's not woke or whatever, right? But this is the future right here, guys. This is the future. They showed us in the movies. The robots are going to be warned against humankind, man. I'm telling you, this is not going to end well. I know they may mar be marketing this as friendly and appealing, even though it's unaffordable. $30,000, I don't think anybody is going to be buying that unless, like, you know, high class. But they're most likely going to lower the price down to 15 20 k uh, There's going to be other brands implemented in it, too. There's always going to be not just Tesla. There's going to be other brands. And um, Elon Musk is getting his knowledge from the fallen angels, uh, from Satan himself. Uh, nothing new under the sun, guys. Nothing new. Everything you're seeing here that's not created by God, stuff like this, that could be dangerous. This is from Satan, bro. This is from Satan himself. This is from, that's why I called him the Antichrist. Now, I'm not saying that he, let, let me show y'all a Bible verse so I can prove my point. All right, this is the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. I mean, the New Testament warns of the Antichrist, I think like three, four times. It's in many, uh, many of the books. It says, little children... It is the last time, as you have heard, that the Antichrist shall come. So Elon Musk, he's one of them. Even now, there are many Antichrists, all right, whereby we know it is the last time. So this is the end times. Now, Elon Musk isn't the only Antichrist. It's a spirit. The spirit works through people, okay? Uh, those who believe not Jesus is the Christ, that's the Antichrist. That's a deceiver. Uh, Elon Musk is not even a Christian. He's not even a Christian, folks. So why are Christians offending this person? It's because the love of the world. They're of the world. And let's go over another. Okay, so this is why, remember, uh, Satan told Christ uh, in, in the hills, right, when he was fasting 40 days. He said that if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms, right? You know, you'll be just like how people sell their soul and people are going to love you. Even though you could be an evil person, Satan's going to make sure that the world loves his own. Okay, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you that he, than he, he is in the world. They are of the world. They are of the world. They are of the world. Therefore, they speak of the world, and the world hears them. So people hear Elon Musk. Even though he's deceiving them, people are here. They have no discernment. They don't have the Holy Spirit, so they're just following the narrative, following whatever the mainstream is pushing, all right, or what's popular. 
especially that what's popular. We are of God. He that know of God, hear us. He that is not of God, hear us not. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So after this video, if you're still defending Elon Musk, if you still think he's here to fight the deep state, promote free speech, even though that's who he signed to, guys, the, G the J E W. He's, that's who he's working for, guys. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake. All right, so nobody should be defending him more. This is you're gonna see more demonic agendas in these last days. And remember, nothing is new under the sun. This has all happened before us, so this shouldn't be surprising. This is why the word of God is so powerful. So when we go through these type of stuff, we already know this is. We already know what's up. We already know what's up. 